Happy New Year and welcome to my first video in 2022 and I'm talking about one of the smartphones with the largest 1.0 type inch sensor, the Xperia Pro i, but the lens doesn't cover the whole sensor and interestingly enough there's another phone that has a lens that covers everything but when we compare both of those smartphones and their cameras and lenses roughly they cover the same sensor size so it might be very interesting to check them both out in terms of cameras and this is what i want to go what gonna do right now and let's get started Let's take a look at the specs first of those uh, camera systems. You can see horizontal versus vertical bar of cameras and the camera array on the Xperia Pro i also has one camera sensor more with a 50 millimeter two times zoom lens which the Pixel 6 is missing. Only the Pixel 6 Pro has a zoom lens. I think it's three and a half or four times zoom. Anyway, the two times crop that is done on the Pixel 6 with the main sensor and it will be very interesting to see if it can compete with the optical sensor of the uh, Xperia Pro i. And then of course, yeah, the camera champ of computational photography, the Pixel 6, versus the camera champ of natural photos and natural photography, the Xperia Pro i. This will be very interesting to see and yeah, I hope you read through all the specs here of those cameras and yeah, let's start with photos but before i start with photography i want to mention something because many people like always ask me and accuse me of not doing manual shots on xperia phones of course i'm always doing manual shots my favorite shooting mode is shutter speed on the xperias because i can control the motion blur more with the shutter speed and also the exposure of course so of course i'm doing also automatic shots here i will change the exposure like i see fit and of course i will use not only automatic modes on the xperia pro i the same goes for the google pixel 6 so the pixel 6 doesn't have so many manual controls but of course i will set the focus point as on the xperia as well if i need to or if i think it might make sense if i want to focus on something i set the focus point i can change the exposure here as well and adjust the settings as well both can shoot raw dng files i will also compare them processed and unprocessed so you will also get a nice little comparison with them as well first of all we will start off with the videos on those both devices so let's take a look at the front cam first we start off with the xperia pro i and it's front facing camera that can only do 1080p 30 frames per second but you will see in a minute that the google pixel 6 cannot do more so it is on par when it comes to this uh, this camera has 8 megapixels you saw the spec sheet already and this is 1080p 30 frames per second this is stabilization that you can expect and do we have a little bit of sunshine in the background maybe you can see a bit of high dynamic range otherwise it's a bit of yeah cloudy day but the sun is a little bit out there and uh, now behind me, there should be the sun somewhere. Uh, and yeah, this is what you can expect in terms of front facing camera video. And I'm using the uh, Blink 500 microphone here that you probably hopefully can hear me uh, well with. And now the Google Pixel 6 1080p 30 frames per second, the maximum that you can record with the front facing camera of the Pixel 6. What can we see? A better a bit better high dynamic range i would say because it's a better sensor simply sony is using like the samsung sensor since ages it looks on the screen a little bit more wobbly on the google pixel 6 than on the xperia but i think google is doing its uh, stabilization pretty well as well and uh, yeah both i think for front facing video cameras i think the pixel 6 has the edge definitely also not so close up as on the Xperia Pro i and uh, yeah what do you think about the stabilization about the colors and HDR I can just turn around a little bit you can see there you can see probably the sun a little bit better because better of uh, better HDR on the sensor basically or post-production uh, already with the uh, Google Pixel 6. 
And now the Xperia Pro Ice main camera. You can see or hear directly that my voice changed because I'm not using the wireless microphone. I'm using the mono mic on the back of the Xperia Pro I that uh, yeah, can do also produce good um, audio. And I think I, for vlogging, I don't need an external microphone if at least I don't have too much wind. Otherwise it, yeah, now the wind is coming. Maybe you can hear something on the wind. But uh, yeah, this is the Xperia Pro Ice main camera sensor, 24 mm 1080p, 60 frames per second. This is what you can expect in terms of stabilization, colors and uh, focusing. If it is focusing on me or not, I can just maybe take my Blink 500 ceremonic microphone that I usually use for recording stuff and hold it in front of the camera. It should focus on this pretty nicely and then back on my face. And uh, yeah, this is what you can expect. Only downside on this is you cannot switch lenses during recording, you have to stop. You can switch to the 16 millimeter one and then hit record again. And this is how it will look like, super wide angle, 1080p, 60 frames per second, no issue at all. And also focusing should work. I have to like probably cover my face because it has face focusing, but then uh, focusing should work nicely on this one as well. So you can use it as well for vlogging. I think very ideal for vlogging, the Xperia Pro I has a nice setup when it comes to the lenses in terms of video. And now the Pixel 6 and the main camera 1080p 60 frames per second. This is what you get at with the main sensor. I think the dynamic range is a little bit better here on this one. But keep in mind on the Xperia, I was not using the HDR mode. I was just using the normal mode. And if you use HDR mode, maybe you get also something similar. Just you have to edit it in post here. You don't have to edit. You get it out of the box. Uh, I'm also not using my microphone here. I'm using the internal mics because it also has a mono mic on the back, which should pick up uh, my voice fine and even have like a voice enhancer mode. I don't like it because then my voice sounds a little bit too artificially um, or too artificial. And then, of course, you have a nice little feature here when you're recording 1080p at least. You can switch to the ultra wide angle, which I will do right now during recording. And it switches relatively seemingly, seamlessly with, between the different lenses and even the zoom lens. It's just a crop on the main sensor, so no issue there. A bit of wind is going on here, so maybe you might hear a bit of wind noises as well. And yeah, this is the ultra wide angle, 1080p, 60 frames per second on the Google Pixel 6. What do you think about it? Does it have autofocus? I'm not sure. Ultra wide angle. Uh, don't think so, but we will see. Let's go to the main lens, uh, autofocus test, Saramonic microphone here. I think it should be able to focus on it. Yeah, what do you think about colors? What do you think about stabilization and the sound quality with the internal mics? So this is a recording with the Xperia Pro I, rear camera again, a main camera, but in HDR mode 4K30, because this is one limitation of the Xperia Pro I, the HDR mode only works in 30 frames per second on 4K or 1080p, but not with 60 frames per second on uh, any of those other resolutions. So yeah, this is uh, the HDR mode. I think you can see when I edit it, it looks also pretty nice. And uh, you get like a similar kind of color set and palette as on the Pixel 6, at least in terms of uh, HDR uh, video quality. And uh, yeah, what do you think about this on the Xperia Pro I? Uh, let's check out the photos of the Xperia Pro I and the Google Pixel 6. So we take a look at the photos on the left, always the Pixel 6, on the right, always the Xperia Pro I. All the photos are linked in the description below. You can download the original JPEGs or DNG RAW files that I also took for some of those images. So you can tweak and take a look at them as well. First of all, Cologne, winter time, January, we still have the sun out, which is super, super awesome. And when you take a look at the differences here, some say the Xperia is not good in HDR. Here, I don't see much of a difference. We see a little bit of brighter exposure on the Pixel 6 and we see a little bit of darker exposure on the Xperia Pro I. Otherwise, it is almost the same, maybe a bit warmer colors on the Pixel 6. When we take a look at the uh, details here, you can see maybe slightly a bit of more details on the Xperia Pro I that has a bit more sharpness and I think the colors look a bit more accurate. When we take a look at another shot, also HDR shot, again the same thing, but we can see a lot of differences in terms of uh, the sharpness. And you can see here the signs, the advertisements, a lot sharper on the Xperia Pro I. And when I go to the left here, 
and go to the Spielhalle and Black Lounge, you can see that the lens on the Xperia Pro I seems to be also sharper and also better because we have a bit of smearing here already and unsharpness on the Pixel 6. We can see that again a bit more orangey here the Spielhalle house or building and here it is a bit more darkish red which is more realistic to the color that we see here and this is throughout all of the photos and you can see the color differences here especially because this little electronic scooter was definitely this bright green this is why i wanted to photograph it and the pixel 6 with its ai and artificial intelligence and its uh, post processing um, made it like looking like this green which is like a boring green i would say and here it looks like this is why it is so fantastic like green when we'll take a look at the sharpness here again sharpness level i think clarity the xperia pro i wins hands down because here in this little led you can see more sharpness more clarity but we have more contrast on the pixel 6 and the raindrops are more visible here a background almost the same no difference when we take a look at another hdr shot not much of a difference here just if you zoom in you can see again clarity sharpness on the xperia pro i a little bit better and we can see the sun is a bit bigger on the pixel 6 that leads to the conclusion okay the pixel 6 really has a wider aperture than the xperia pro i and when we take a look at close-up shots like this one here you can see the both are doing a fantastic job but the clarity the sharpness again on the xperia pro i a little bit better than on the pixel 6 here look at take a look at this one here it's a little bit sharper uh, the Pixel 6 is already doing like some kind of post-processing. You can see a lot bigger bokeh here and uh, not so much bokeh here. And the difference cannot be complained uh, or explained by just the uh, yeah, different aperture that are not so far apart from each other. We take a look at the ultra-wide angle cameras that are also very interesting. We can see here it's a bit more ultra-wide on the Xperia Pro I. So uh, I think they have the same ultra-wide 16mm. Uh, when it comes to sharpness, again, the Xperia Pro I has one of the best ultra wide angle cameras put in a smartphone currently. You can see sharpness, definitely clarity, definitely the Xperia Pro I, also sharpness on the edges. But what's a bit more worrisome is the color reproduction on the Pixel 6 because it's just like blowing up the, the black here to some kind of dark green or something. And the Xperia Pro I is capturing the real colors of this graffiti and the green almost the same but slightly bigger of a difference sharpness and colors definitely the xperia pro i when it comes to this shot and uh, in general the um, ultra wide angle is on the xperia pro i simply better here on first glance it looks a bit sharper on the pixel 6 but the pixel 6 is doing over sharpening which the xperia pro i is not doing so if i zoom in here this looks natural okay you can see the brickwork you can see a little bit of the the bricks here but what the pixel 6 does is like it's enhancing everything and make putting some detail that wasn't there which looks like totally over processed if you go into the 100 percent view and i don't like the look at all on the pixel 6. first glance you might say ah it's more sharp but no it is over processing if you take a look at this it looks more natural on the xperia pro i and this is the problem that you have sometimes when the Pixel 6 is doing its computational photography. When we take a look at a shot from the ultra wide angle again, we can see more sharpness, more details. We can see dynamic range almost the same, no difference at all here. A bit more warm on the Pixel 6. The main sensor here again, a bit of a color difference. We have here this the, the box one and box two are really blue here in the background and not this greenish kind of look that we see on the Pixel 6. It tends also to warm up things a little bit. And we can take a look at the sign here, the advertisement sign. And again, it is sharper on the Xperia Pro I. Let me take a look at the zoom shots uh, might be also very interesting can the pixel 6 with its crop into the main sensor which is which has 50 megapixel and is spinning the pixels down uh, compete and the answer is no take a look at here the pixel 6 is doing some artificial stuff but it's a lot less sharp and the xperia pro has the more natural optical zoom that you clearly can see that it's optical and that you have the sharpness here look at the signs the Xperia Pro I has the uh, better flexibility when it comes to zooming in and uh, doing stuff that might change if you just take the Google Pixel 6 Pro, which is still cheaper than the Xperia Pro I, then probably 
they are on par i would say here again the artificial intelligence is kicking in on the pixel 6 and it's doing some bokeh for this little flower that i found that might be good might be bad the xpr pro i is not doing this we have the natural bokeh and we have a lot sharper photo here in terms also of what we can see of this little flower the little hairs all around you can see much much more there it looks like there is more detail definitely here where here it's blurring out already where it did maybe did a mistake here uh, i can turn on artificial bokeh here on the xperia pro i to match it a little bit and then you can see we have the same issues that we have here it's getting a bit unsharp it's still a bit sharper uh, than the pixel 6 the bokeh is not as good as it is like bokeh out or it's like putting this in the background here half of the this leaf here already which the pixel 6 is not doing so the pixel 6 had definitely the better processing here when we take a look at the bench here there we see what i don't like about the pixel 6 sometimes in this gloomy cold winter day actually it's creating like a shot with this yellowish kind of color yellowish kind of um, green here which looks like almost spring or autumn time uh, background blur really nice on both you can see here that there's a bit of more background blur on the pixel 6 and this is i think natural background blur now uh, produced by the uh, bit of larger aperture that you can get on the pixel 6 otherwise in terms of sharpness and so on i think both are on par and here another shot with the zoom lens crop in on the pixel 6 and an, a normal um, optical zoom uh, hdr is working fine on them and you can see the differences in sharpness here again also with hdr so this is that and then another shot with this little uh, fire stadium here here the pixel 6 did a brighter exposure but also tend to get the colors more right because they are really this shiny kind of almost artificial kind of orange and here it's a bit too dark and more red on the xpr pro i you can see more sharpness in the sign here on the pro i so the sharpness is still there more contrast between those two which is nice which i don't see so much here it's a bit too bright this this car so maybe yeah the xperia got this right didn't got this completely right and the car at the side here i think yeah the pixel 6 nailed a bit better in terms of colors but in terms of sharpness definitely the xperia pro i and now what i want to do is uh, raw photos i also have some raw photos that i took to show you that you can change and tweak things the way you like it so what i can do for example in this shot is i can bring them uh, usually the pixel 6 has warmer colors i can change it we are lightroom for lightroom for example and can make the xperia pro i a little bit warmer when it comes to hdr again i tweaked everything out here you can see not much of a difference when it comes to sharpness not much of a difference maybe even here the pixel 6 slightly sharper uh, a bit more graininess here on the sides already that you can see on the xperia pro i it is a bit more washed out here on the pixel 6 this is why you don't see the grain so much which is also interesting but you have like more sharpness here clarity on the xpr pro i you can take a look at the original dngs and try to edit those raw files to see if you can uh, get to this here i try to make the stadium pop out a little bit more and uh, the firefighter stadium i think it is um, so they have like their the offices there and yeah this is a bit maybe overdone here and here it is a bit cooled down a bit more uh, darkened down so i could like reverse the results that i got with my jpegs if i wanted to so this is all processing power and it's good that both offer the option for a dng raw which allows you to edit such things and here we go back to the normal usual stuff where we have the pixel 6 a little bit warmer and when we take a look at the details here you can see that uh, the cooled down xperia pro i has a little bit more details here even in raw shots so it's not only the lens is better you can see maybe not here you can see it here in the sign take a look at this road sign and compare it with this one here you can see the lens simply on the xperia pro i is better uh, processing is not i process both here and i applied almost the same settings kind of and uh, yeah there's uh, the difference here that you can see so in general the xperia pro i yeah produces the better photos 
has I think more natural colors the Pixel 6 has more processing has sometimes nicer bokeh because it's like using the processing power to do this especially in JPEG files um, in general you can see the difference that the Xperia Pro i is better but is it really a big difference that is like uh, justifying uh, three times more price that is something for you to decide you have to really pixel peep to see much of a difference here the Xperia Pro i definitely is on uh, one of the best cameras out there on the market the pixel 6 still but the xperia pro i i think has in general better optics and a better sensor so which of those two bad boys is the clear winner for you the xperia pro i or the google pixel 6 when it comes to the price of course the pixel 6 won already one third of the price of the pro i but what is about the camera quality and video quality of those two devices i have my clear preference not maybe so much regarding camera quality and video quality but the Xperia Pro i just is in general something that I like rather to use than the Pixel 6 but this is a personal preference because I like physical buttons I like to use real cameras and the Pro i comes very close to real cameras here which the Pixel 6 is not so much it has so much artificial sharpening going on so much like colors that change that create a pleasant image definitely but it's not what I want to photograph so it is like more for people who like to take a snapshot and this is more for people who like to take real photos what do you think write it down in the comment section that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye